name is Maya Pingle and this is Tia. We are both instructors through the Pilates Center of Boulder and I also just graduated from the Kathy Grant Heritage Training Program with Kara Reeser. Today we're going to show five exercises. The first one, the pulling straps. I think maybe I might have you standing at first just so we can get you into this. So the pulling straps we have, we have the backstroke, teaser, uh, we will do chest expansion and then semicircle. So Tia, if you could just stand for a moment, hip width apart, and I would love to see your toes open, find a tripod position there, and as you're there, hip width apart, just let your arms hang down, and take a really big inhale as if you're widening your rib cage, and exhale, good. Almost close your eyes for a moment, and just take that moment in, and exhale, good. Make fists with your hands there, and I want you to feel like you're holding on to hand weights. And with those hand weights, without it depressing your shoulder girdle, just go ahead and reach your palms down, your knuckles down in space, as you take a huge inhale, like you have an anchor and maybe a buoy up underneath your underarms, so that you get a little bit more elevation in your shoulder girdle today for these exercises we're about to do. Good, just try one more. Think again about that buoy that is lifting up into the sea as you have an anchor below, and sometimes that anchor may drift. So from here, let's go ahead. We have the long box set up, and I have the headrest up so Tia's head won't fall too far down. I like when right under the arms go at the corners of, of the box here, and our legs will just be hanging. We have one spring on for this arm exercise. So as her arms are here, we're gonna externally rotate the upper arm. She's gonna do that same breath she just did, taking an inhale in and actually elevate the shoulder girdle a little bit. Push through the knuckles here and go ahead and press me here to you and bring your palms together. Beautiful, bring your eyes forward in space and exhale and go again. We'll just do two more here. So I would love on the first one, pick your arm bones up a little bit. Good, feel that anchor and lift that buoy as your eyes reach forward. This exercise can also be very compressive through the low back. So as Tia's here, she's gonna push through her feet and bring her chest and her spine forward as she comes back down as well. Good. Unless you get stuck, which sometimes <laughs> happens. And then let's just do one more. Pick this up, pick your eyes up, bring your chest through your arms and just bring your bones back and up. Good. Think of lifting your belly off of the mat as your pubic bone reaches down. Beautiful Tia and exhale and rest. Good, let your legs hang for a moment. As you come off, hold the handles with one hand, and we're gonna go into the backstroke. So for backstroke, we have two springs. I like when somebody, Tia, <laughs> actually takes her sit bones off of the mat just a little bit. So then you're really having to pick our upper spine up into the straps. So she's gonna make fists today, and really keep it fisted so that she's shrinking her rotator cuff muscles under here. Press those fists together and with your chin more towards your throat, think of that anchor and lift the buoy up. Go ahead and press me down with your heel, setting yourself up for a deep belly to spine feeling as you inhale, lifting the arms and legs up, exhale, open to the V. Inhale, bring your palms right on top of your thighs. Exhale, return to your start position, good. She's gonna go a little faster. This can be a very labored exercise. People can also really feel this in their neck so when I think of just keeping your ears over your shoulders, chin towards your throat, and then really picking up that place in the buoy arm, then just lay yourself down one foot at a time and open your chest. This is a wonderful place. She'll have to move back so she doesn't fall off the box for a teaser. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower one spring so she has one spring on. She's gonna take this moment, really open her chest with a big breath, not even moving yet. Good, Tia. Keep reaching your anchors away from each other without even moving yet. Just to really get this openness through the front of the chest. And then I really like teaser starting with the arms, which is the lowest to the floor. She's gonna scoop her palms towards her side, starts to pick up her feet and her head so she's in line. And then she reaches her knuckles forward as she pushes her feet. Gorgeous, Tia. It's also really nice to take your eyes and follow yourself back down, following your toes, Still reaching through your arms. Beautiful. And exhale and go back to that open position. We'll go right back into it. Inhale the arms first. Think of the anchor of those knuckles and let it gently lift up your underarms. 
Push your heels away. Good, Tia. Now, without lowering your arms too soon, push your feet away and start from the bottom. Zipping that from your low belly. Reaching. Good. Keeping the arms here. She goes back to her starting position. And exhale. Opens and opens her chest. Last one. Big breath. Arms first. See if you can catch those arms up. You got it. Exhale. Push your heels away a little bit more today. Now, right there, lift your chest. Find more space for your waist. Here's those anchors drifting, slowly drifting as you push those heels away. Good, reach this just a little bit, this left one, beautiful. And she exhales and opens her chest there. Take a moment there, that was lovely. Go ahead and hold your handles in one hand when you're ready. And you're gonna step off and we're gonna go into the chest expansion. So if you could take the box, I will go ahead and add, what we do is we'll add two springs depending on the level. Tia is doing an intermediate level today, but she can do any advanced exercise. So today we'll show this more as an intermediate and just go ahead and start reaching your knuckles forward in space and just sit back for a second. Yeah. And then from here, as you think of the anchor and the lift from underneath your underarms, pull your toes in space. So feel how the carriage is closed. She's pulling her toes against the edge and she's up on her knees thinking of her hamstrings coming through her thighs. From here, floating out the top of her head, pull the toes on an inhale, and the arm bones come back in space. She's going to look right, and she's going to look left, and she's going to look forward, and exhale, and then we reverse the look. So on this, really think of the anchor down to elevate that buoy feeling, that lift from under the armpits. That's right, and one more. Pull your toes more, Tia. We'll say two so that you have an even amount of looks. Really listening with your ears behind you. Last one, pull your chest through and then stay here, Tia, and draw that same place we were before for pull straps. Push down in your knuckles and pull your palms towards you. Let it elevate your waist. Breathe more, sip more air in. Gorgeous and exhale and beautiful. She'll put the handles back and we'll go into semicircle. So for semi-circle on the peaks, we have blocks that look like this. Sometimes we have wooden blocks. So you put it in a place I like in my training taught me not to straighten the legs fully. So you can really get some manipulation and, and, and work through the spine. So Tia will take her hands on the shoulder blocks. Some people will do palms, some will do fists. And as she's there, her hips come up. Her heels are lifted a little bit and the balls of her feet are on to this foot bar that is down but can be up. As she's here, she's gonna take a deep breath without moving. Good, and exhale, that's right. She has two springs on as she starts to roll through the upper spine, middle, and she drops her hips in between the two springs. She's gonna reach out, pressing onto that block. Go ahead and curl from the lower, middle, upper, and let the spring take you in, beautiful. As her arms are there, you could still think of that anchor reaching, even though your arms are over your head with that lovely spiral. Good, exhale and send yourself out, really reach onto it, and then curl through, pressing through your feet as you come back in. Good, she'll reverse it, taking a little bit more breath and a little more movement. We're gonna go for a little more tempo, exhale all the way down, and up, good, and again, inhale, lovely, and exhale, really doing your best, this is a hard one to get the upper spine, the sternum to come down. Last one, go on out. So keep pressing through your feet, keep your hamstrings up and come through here, almost undulating through. Good, Tia, release the hips. Come all the way in, take your arms onto your ankles once the carriage is as close as it will be. And then narrowing your knees, take a deep breath and exhale. Think of your palms being pulled towards your ankles as your knees go over. Lift from underneath the arms. Yes, lowering your rib cage and start to come all the way back. Sometimes this gets a little sticky. Well, that's pretty good. Good, and then bring your knees into your chest and finish. Go ahead and sit all the way up and rest. Those were the five exercises we're showing for Pilates anytime. Well, I'm Maya Pingle and this is Tia and we appreciate you watching. Thank you so much.